Welcome to the e-commerce coffee break. My name is Klaus Lauter and I'm an e-commerce growth advisor and business coach for businesses and brands that are using Shopify's e-commerce platform. And yes, I also like coffee. Each week you're going to get actionable advice, strategies and tips to optimize your online store and e-commerce business. So let's get started. Hey, it's Klaus here with another e-commerce coffee break. This time I want to talk about Shopify themes and which one you should pick for your store. Now, obviously you have lots of choices out there. You'll find hundreds of Shopify themes in the um, theme store of Shopify, and you can start with a free theme. Um, there are quite a few of them that are coming directly from Shopify, and lots of people do that. They choose, for instance, the debut theme and um, get their first experience with Shopify from there. Then the other options you have is to either go for a paid theme. Also there, they have lots of choices and quite a bit of a price range. Or you can go as far as developing a theme for your Shopify store from scratch. Now, obviously, this involves having a developer and might very might be very costly and time intensive to get you where you want. Now, where are the advantages and disadvantages of all of these options that you have with picking the right theme. For that, we first of all need to look into what makes a good Shopify theme. Now, obviously, first of all, it should look great and should be highly customizable. Now, there it starts basically um, going in different directions. For a free, th a free theme, um, you might have limited uh, options in the back end to customize your theme. So if you go for uh, um, paid themes, they will be definitely have more options up to a level where it becomes overwhelming um, with the options that you have in the back end. The idea with uh, the back end customization is that you don't need a developer to change the look and the feel and also um, features from your theme and what you want to use. It might save you even a lot of um, additional monthly fees if you have a theme that has already a lot of features included and you won't need to buy additional Shopify apps to get the specific feature into your store. So that's something to consider um, when you're looking at your budget, what's cheaper on the long run, um, having a free or a cheap theme and then adding up the apps months per month, which will obviously become costly over time, or go for a more expensive paid theme and then saving on the long run on additional apps. Secondly, you want to have a theme that is fast loading on mobile on and desktop. As Google is more and more looking into page speed and um, obviously the user experience and with that the conversion rate is highly influenced by page speed, you want to make sure that your theme is lightning fast. So that's something you need to consider and test before you start implementing a theme. There might be themes that are just slow loading and um, so basically are slow loading out of the box and um, I would not go that route. So you want to have something that is fast and should be still fast when you add um, your copy, your um, images, your additional apps that you possibly will need. As a general guideline, you want to have a load time that is below three seconds just to be on the safe side because otherwise your bounce rate of your visitors will go through the roof and um, with that obviously you will not make as much on sales as you could do. So keep that in mind when you're testing different themes that they are loading quickly and they have features like lazy load for images that support a fast load time. Then something that's obviously very important is the um, theme should match your company's brand. Um, so and if you have a lot of options in the back end where you can basically um, change uh, the logo, the fonts, the color scheme and so on and so forth to match the website with your branding, that will save you a lot of time and money um, instead of having a developer doing that manually and putting that into place. And finally, if you go for a theme, um, either free or paid, you want to make sure that there is good customer support. There's always things that might happen. Um, you want to be able to reach out to the developing company that created the theme in the first place and get in touch with their support or with their developers to figure out what is going wrong. So 
themes from time to time need to be updated and also um, there might be problems coming from apps that they are not um, compliant with your theme um, so you want to reach out to customer support just keep that in mind when you're buying a theme that the company has good customer support ratings there and then obviously looking into themes that I would recommend. Um, as I already mentioned, the debut Shopify or debut Shopify theme is something that a lot of people start with. Um, it's a good, as I said, it is a good start. It is a bit of limited when it comes to features in the back end. Um, so you might either need additional apps or you need some additional coding to get it look and work the way you want to have it. Now, when we're talking about paid themes. Um, one theme that I particularly like is called Warehouse. And this warehouse is done and um, designed by a company called Maestro. You will find it in a, in a Shopify theme store. It starts for 180 US dollars and uh, has three different styles included. And it's definitely a theme if you have a, um, a certain number, a good number of products. Um, it's very clear, clear layout. It has a lot of features that support high conversion rates. Um, so that's a theme that I would recommend for someone who has larger collect, um, catalogs and um, wants to start on a higher level with a very clean, um, designed, high converting um, theme of Shopify. If you want to get or go one step further um, the to go to company is out of the sandbox out of the sandbox has quite a number of themes two of the most well-known ones is the turbo theme or turbo theme yeah, and the flex theme um, i like the flex theme a lot but they are on the higher end when it comes to the pricing. The Flex theme is 450 US dollars. Um, you get very, very good customer support and you get like a million different options that you can tweak in the back end um, to work on the theme and make it look and do exactly what you want. Now, $450 seems to be expensive in the first place, but it comes with a lot of features that you um, need to buy extra in other themes. So it will save you, and probably very quickly in, in the range of, of, of a few months, uh, will save you money. Um, so see it as an investment that will be uh, profitable or um, will work out very well for you on the long run. So again, flex theme of out of the sandbox highly recommended for all of these themes i did a theme review on my youtube channel so if you head over there and um, search on my channel for theme review you will find an overview of the themes just a quick run through on what they do and what i like and dislike on these different themes and to end this quick overview of um, Shopify themes, one quick tip that um, you might want to use. So if you are going out and test a lot of different themes, as I said, there's hundreds of themes available um, in the Shopify theme store, but also on other platforms. Always make sure that you save the theme that you're working with in the first place. So make a backup and um, then start testing the theme and then you will be always able to revert to where you were. Same um, is or works for if you're having a theme already, you want to test out apps, Shopify apps. Make a backup of your theme, download it, have it in your back end and then install the app. Test the app. If you like it, there's nothing else you need to do. If you dislike the app, um, because I don't know, the feature is not what you're looking for, or um, it breaks your website or whatsoever, then you d revert to the backup of your theme with the apps that you had before. So don't just delete the app, because it might leave some um, code in your theme, which will blow out, blow up the load size and is not unnecessary. So you wanna always make sure that you have a, a sleek, fast loading theme without any crappy code that um, is not used any longer. So that was the quick tap to the end. This was it for this time's e-commerce coffee break. As always, like, subscribe and comment and um, give me a comment on iTunes. Helps me a lot with the ranking and I see you in the next one. Have a good day.